What is going on YouTube? This is another video coming at you, Wrestling Trend. Hail to the Redskins. I'm going to talk about a couple topics today. Um, I keep filming these, but then there's always some kind of interruption. And, and lately, I just haven't had a lot of time to do videos. So, I keep filming these, and there's just not a lot of time to get them done. Or there's some kind of interruption, so on and so forth. So, I'm going to try to breeze through all the topics today. First topic, uh, Darius Geis gets cut. Um, he has some sexual assault allegations and some assault, um, tried to, uh, strangle his girlfriend, whatever the case may be. So, uh, the, the Ron Rivera cut him and I think that's the best choice to have. I mean, there are accusations obviously, but I mean, I have the feeling that there's a little more information that Ron and the Red, in the, in the Redskins know, um, they know a little bit more than we know. Just put it that way. They know a lot more information than we have. They probably, he probably could told the coach that, Hey, I actually did this or whatever. And, uh, they, he admitted to it, but then the report came out like he didn't admit all this stuff. Get out of here. That's probably what happened. So what does that do to our, I mean, it's sad to see like a very young, uh, talented player go, but let's like, look at the facts here. He he's played five games. He's had like a couple really good, uh, two, two really good games. And then that's pretty much it. He's been injured a lot. Apparently already has a knee injury. Like his knees sore. So he wasn't able to practice. So, I mean, what are we losing out on? We're losing out on a player that's injury prone, that uh, he's not mature, things like that. Yes, his production would be missed, but I think we have enough players on the team to kind of make up for that production. Um, obviously, Adrian Peterson will probably be the number one back now. Um, he'll probably be the feature back, uh, and he'll split carries with um, Bryce Love. So this is good for uh, Peterson because Peterson – Post the other day, he wants to uh, pass Emmett Smith as the uh, all-time rusher. And you know what? As much as I, I would love to see that, I, I don't see it happening. He had to play another four years or three years to do that. And he had to get a lot of yards those three years. Like he play, If he plays three years, he gets like uh, 1400 a year. Yeah, he'll pass him for sure. Um, but I, I wouldn't put money on it because I don't think I'm, I don't see I don't see him playing three years. Not three years as a feature back. Maybe he'll play like four or five more years. Like as like he might start. He's gonna start this year. That that one's a given. But like he ain't playing. I don't think he's gonna play that many more years as a feature back. He'll probably be like Frank Gore, where you get some carries and you'll you'll get yards by playing like four or five more years. That's probably what he'll do. Um, but I more power to him. I, I hope he does it. I hope he gets like fourteen hundred yards this year. And um, and then Bryce Love gets like you know eight hundred or something or six hundred. And then Antonio Gibson gets some, and then the kids that get some. So that's that's what I'm hoping. So it, it it didn't really kill us losing guys because what that does now it just gives us more opportunity to get the ball to two unproven players. And um, Bryce Love, who he got injured his at Stanford his senior year, sat out all last year. And a lot of people don't know this, but he was second. I think he was second in Heisman voting the year uh, Baker Mayfield won the Heisman. So, I mean, in, in the same in the same year as um, uh, not 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 Dwayne Haskins was we'll the year before that. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah, the year that um Baker Mayfield came out. So he was second in um, in, he's second in in in, in uh, Heisman voting that year. Before the year before he injured himself, he got injured. So he's got talent, he's got the ability. The question is, is he fully recovered? If he's fully recovered back to what he was at Stanford, who I mean, we got we got some running backs, okay. And I've already mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again. I think Antonio Gibson is going to be a very big sleeper in the running game. If you don't know, this guy is like 5'10, 5'11, 230 pounds. He has breakaway speed, and he is he's built that 230 is big. Okay, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna end my weight, but 230 is big. And if you've never seen him on like camera, like like run on film, guy's built. Okay, he is he's built like a I won't say a brick shit house. There we go. Um, <clears throat> he's built. So, and then obviously we have Peyton Barber and JD McKissick would 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 fill up the rest of the running game. I think uh, Peyton Barber would be last on the list. I don't think he's gonna get cut because we only have. We have only we have five running backs now total, and Gibson's supposed to be splitting with the receiving core. He's supposed to be working with both, so I think they'll keep 
Peyton just because that way they have five. Because we don't know if Bryce Love will stay healthy. I mean, Adrian Peterson's old, so obviously you have a higher risk of getting injured. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't see. I, I don't. Th I don't see Gary's guys. The potential. We lost a lot of potential there, but all, for all we know, the first play hurts his knee again, and we're back. We're, we're back to square one with what we have right now. So, not not the end of the world losing Gary's guys. So, uh, I think Ron made the right decision there. Um, next thing I want to talk about is Alex Smith is off the pup list. Um, well, he's supposed to be off the pup list. Um, he's playing. He's throwing the ball around. Apparently, he's looking pretty good. He apparently knows the offense a little bit better than Haskins at this point. Um, so, what does that mean going forward? I, I'm going to disqualify myself from having a. I, I, I have an, uh, an. I'm going to have an unbiased opinion, but I'm going to just say that I am a big fan of Alex Smith. I was a big fan of him when he was not with us. He was when he was with 49ers. I liked him when he was with the Chiefs. Um, so I've always been a fan of him. He, I've always thought he was classy. I thought he, he he's always gotten a bad rap for things. But then whenever you actually put a good coach and a good system around him, he, he thrives in it. And, and I'll argue with anyone till I'm blue in the face about how good that guy is in the playoffs. We, if we'd gotten the playoffs two years ago, two years ago, if we'd gotten the playoffs with Alex Smith, we had a chance. Uh, I wouldn't say we had a chance to get a Super Bowl. We could have at least won a game, maybe two. And I think we could have got at least to the NFC Championship game. I, I think that's definitely viable. And we'd have faced the Rams. And um, I think we could have beat the Rams, but I don't know. Um, but after he got hurt, the rest of the team just fell apart. So it wasn't like um, – I know a lot of people think, well, the whole team got injured, so it doesn't matter if Alex was – I think a lot of it just cascaded. And I think everyone just, like, put in the – tanked in the season. We had a lot of walking wounded, so to speak, where people were like, oh, I'm injured, my leg hurts, oh – I can't play today, coach. It's one of those things. Not like a serious injury. Like Brandon Sheriff took the rest of that, the, that season off, I think, to have like a surgery or something. So, on, um, so Alex Smith, I, I, I'm a very big fan of Alex Smith. Now, that being said, that being said, um, what the heck? Okay. With that being said, big fan of Alex Smith. He does not. It, it should not be a discussion that there is a QB battle between Alex Smith and Dwayne Haskins. I'm sorry. As much as I do like um, Alex Smith, and I do want him to have a good redemption story, he does not be in, need to be in the conversation for starting quarterback. It's Haskins' team, okay? And I've actually finally heard someone, an analyst that I listen to, from. Um, either I listen to two podcasts about the Redskins, the Beltway Bros, which they talk about the Redskins and other sports in D.C., and they also listen to uh, it used to be Redskins Talk podcast, now the little Washington football podcast or whatever. So I finally heard someone say what I've been saying since since fucking draft. Okay, this season is about finding out one thing. Okay, there might be other things they want to find out, but one thing particularly is what they need to find out is what is Haskins? Is he good? Is he bad? Is he in between? What is he? Is he the franchise quarterback? Is he going to be our game manager? Is he going to be a guy that we need to get rid of and move on from real quick? I don't know. That's what we need to find out. This is the whole season about this year. If we don't find anything else out this year, that needs to be it. We're probably going to find a lot of things out about a lot of players. Um, that's what I think that's what Ron's goal is for this season. But if all else fails, we have to know what Haskins is by the end of the season. The best case scenario, he's good. 4,500 passing yards, 35 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, something something along those lines. If we're doing that, he's he's we're in the playoffs. I, I promise you that. We're going to be in the playoffs or at least like snip, or like really close. If the rest of the teams in, in, the, in the NFC are just that good. But if he's getting 35 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing pretty good because that running game's got to do well as well um, for that to happen. So, yeah. So we'll see. Um, but like that's best case scenario. Second best case scenario sucks. If he sucks, at least we know what he is. Okay, if he has like three thousand passing yards, twenty five interceptions, eighteen touchdowns. We know he sucks. We know he can't read defense. We know he's not good. Whatever. And we know to move on from him. The worst case scenario is he gets injured. After like three games where he had like lackluster, lackluster performances, we don't really know, and he gets injured, and he can't play the rest of the season. 
okay? But we have to know what Haskins is. We have to know, because we're probably gonna gonna have a high draft pick. We we probably are. We're gonna have a high draft pick. There's a lot of guys available. Trevor Lawrence is one. There's another quarterback out there. I can't think of his name at this moment. Can't. um, But we definitely have options when it comes to what to do next year if we if we want to go the route of getting a different quarterback okay so that is that is definitely what we need to figure out this year so yeah the next part i want to talk about is reuben foster is off um i are off the pup list and he is on he is active um why is this a big deal well um i don't think it's a big deal but some people think that it's not fair that darius guys gets cut after some kind of like sexual assault allegations but you you activate Reuben Foster like pretty much the next day. So how is that fair to Darius Geis? I'm like, well, to be fair to Reuben Foster, um, um, to be fair to him, that was two years ago. Um, he's had time for to be exonerated of it. And uh, he hasn't had any issues since. So that's, that's a part of that. Um, so whenever you can't compare the two, because one was just happening recently under the the watch of one was just happening recently under the watch of the Washington uh, football franchise. One happened like what, three years ago, almost. So it, it's not the same thing. It's not apples to apples. Okay. It's apples and oranges comparing. So, but Ruben Foster, I think is a very big help. He's going to be a big help to our, um, he's going to be a big help to our linebacking core. Um, I like Cole Holcomb. I think Cole Holcomb and him will make a good rotation. I do not think John Bostic is the answer at linebacker. He's a good enough player. Like he's a he's a basically a replacement level player. He does good enough that he can get he's gonna get he's gonna be in the league for a while, but he's just not good enough when it comes to um, you know, holding down that starting position and making it so there's no doubt, and that's why no one gives him long term contracts. Okay, he's bounced around the league ever since he's been in the league. This is not good enough to to hold the spot down where someone can commit to him because there's always gonna be something out there better. So, Ruben Foster really helps the, the linebacking core. And I think we're going to have a really good front seven. The best case scenario for the Redskins this year, practice-wise, is you have your front seven go up against our offensive line. And our offensive line grows leaps and bounds because they're playing against one of the best defensive lines in the, in the league. That's what needs to happen this year. And um, straight, if, if it doesn't happen... Uh, I mean, I, I think I think Ron's a smart guy, so I think that's what he's going to do. That's what needs to happen. We're going to get Shadik Charles' experience, get uh, Jerron Christian experience. Um, I've heard some rumors about Jerron Christian actually apparently putting on a lot of muscle this summer or and uh, being ready to start at left tackle. You know, if he does, great. And then one next year, I would actually rather him start at right tackle and then start Shadik Charles. And we have two young guys ready to take the reins as our as our offensive line grows. That's what I would prefer. Um, so yeah, that's what I, I would prefer. Honestly, I, I would rather have John Christian and, um, I would rather have John Christian. Sorry. It's a message. I would rather have John Christian and Shadi Charles going forward. Um, not the biggest, not really hell bent on, um, keeping Morgan Moses. I think I've made my opinion of him very, very clear. Uh, so yeah. Um, I think that's all the content I have for this video. I mean, the only thing I want to talk about is like, apparently there's some um, traction with the Red Wolves. They actually had a, an article on NBC Sports uh, Washington about all the potential like team names and jersey concepts that have come out, the ones that have been voted on. And I actually like the ones with the Red Wolves. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think Red Wolves is the best is the best possible name change we can come up with. Um, I've seen a lot of the concepts. Um, I've seen a lot of the, the tie-ins with the military, and I, I personally like it. And I think that's the route we need to go. So, um, that being said, this is uh, Redson's Rant. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you've watched this far. Uh, also, hit the like button, and you'll get videos like this all the time. And comment down below. What do you think? What do you think of the Darius Guy incident? Um, I do want to say something real quick, and this is just like, this is me not like, not like frustrated, but kind of frustrating. Listen, as much as I want the Redskin name and as much as I want Redskin Im- Native American imagery, listen, Dan Snyder is not using a Redskin name. Everyone keeps suggesting names. 
that the Redskins should be. And I, I know, like, I went, like, once, like, the Warhawks was one I wanted early. And there's a, one of the mo more popular ones I've seen is um, the Red Spears or the Arrows and stuff like that. He doesn't want to use any Native American imagery. None. None whatsoever. This is not going to happen. Um, he, he's not going to do that. I'm telling you. I, I guarantee you the conversation that was had, either the league mandated it, like, hey, nothing Native American, or Native, or the Native Americans try to try to dictate to him what he can and cannot do for imagery. And he's like, you know what? Screw you. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to have you guys dictate to me what I can be. You're already making me change the name that I love and millions of other people love. Why should I, uh, you know, cowtail um, and, 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 you know, submit to what you guys want? I'll just go do something. I'll just pick something else. And you guys won't have any Native American imagery at all. You won't have representation in the league. That's, I guarantee you is one of those two things. Okay. And that, and because of that, no, he's not going to pick anything with Native American imagery. Red Spears was one people liked. I know there, there's actually one of the Red Wolves logos that I saw that had like a Native American thing in it which I actually really like personally, but it's not going to happen. So um, thank you for watching. It's Redskins Rant. Hail to the Redskins. See ya.